Welcome back to the channel. My name is Thomas Fletcher and I'm the host of the LCSW Network. If you're new to this channel, please do me a favor by smashing that like button, by subscribing to the channel, and by sharing this video with your social work colleagues and friends. The purpose of this channel is to create a community of hope and support where social workers can come for relevant news, information, and inspiration. Well, welcome back to Self Care Saturday. Welcome back to Season 4, Episode 31 of our Self Care Saturday series. So today's topic is end of the year reflections to support our self-care efforts, to support our ongoing self-care. So as we are quickly approaching the end of 2023, I think it is really important for all of us to take a look back during the past 12 months to see how we are doing, how we've done, you know? Where have we been strongest in our self-care efforts? And where can we use a little bit more support, maybe a little bit more focus, more a little, maybe a little bit more effort into improving our self-care? What areas, right? Because, you know, once we get into 2024, you know, the beginning of the new year, a lot of people focus on, you know, what's generally called New Year's resolutions. Well, if we're going to make New Year's resolutions, maybe we should look at what we have done well during the previous year and, and build upon those strengths, as well as examine the areas where we fell short. And where maybe we either we need more support maybe we need to further educate ourselves right um, just taking um, a page from what we call the key recovery concepts of the wellness recovery action plan um, the five key recovery concepts that Mary Ellen Copeland developed in that in that self-directed plan are hope personal responsibility education self-advocacy and support so I'll use the five key recovery concepts to kind of do um, what an end of the year reflection might look like. So I'll start with hope. So my hope is that I will continue to grow uh, in my self-care activities, right? That's my hope, that I'm going to keep learning and growing and getting stronger in, in you know, in providing self-care to myself. And whose responsibility is that ultimately it's my own personal responsibility to continue to grow and learn from what I'm doing right as well as learn from maybe things that I need to improve or things that maybe maybe there are things that I need to stop doing you know maybe there are barriers to to my self-care journey that I need to uh, pay attention to and then take steps to overcome them, right? So personal responsibility, education. What are, what, are some, what are some new things that I need to learn to continue to grow my self-care activities and my self-care journey? You know, maybe I need to take, maybe I need to take a class, you know, like perhaps I wanted to start uh, learning a, a martial art. I'm probably not going to be able to teach myself that. I'll probably have to, you know, take a course from a, a sensei, from a teacher, from somebody that's experienced in that particular martial art, right? Um, the next key recovery concept is self-advocacy. Where, what are the things that I need to advocate better for? You know, whether whether those uh, whether those areas are in my work life maybe i need to advocate more you know with my coworkers, with my supervisor um maybe uh in my friendship group maybe there's maybe there's things that i need to advocate for that will um help me in my self-care journey same thing with uh you know significant other relationship you know where do i need to advocate with my wife with my spouse you know, 
And then the last area, the last key recovery concept that we could use in this uh, end of the year um, reflections is support. You know, who do I need to, who do I need to maybe uh, reach out to get more support or advocate to get more support? You know, again, is it family, friends, significant other, um, co-workers, supervisor, um, customers? right so again we can use these key recovery concepts in our end of the year reflections um, in, in order to see what we did well as far in, in the areas of self-care um, maybe there's areas of self-care that we need to improve upon maybe there are areas of self-care where we need to get you know outside support right and maybe we need to advocate for that outside support Maybe we need to educate ourselves about that outside support. And maybe we just need to take more responsibility and, and maybe stop blaming other people, um, like, the, you know, like the groups of people that I previously mentioned. Maybe we need to stop blaming our, our coworkers. Maybe we need to stop blaming our significant others, um, our family members, our friends, and, and just take more personal responsibility um, for those areas of self-care that we want to uh, participate in and grow in. All right. So I want to just encourage everybody, and I'm going to do the same thing. You know, as again, as we are approaching the end of end of the year. In this case, it's 2023, but you could be watching this video in the future, and th the same will apply whether we're talking about the end of 2023 or the end of 2033. It really doesn't matter. Um, I think, you know, reflecting at the end of the year in terms of what we're doing well, what we've done well, and, you know, where can we make improvements? I think it's really important. All right, so I'm going to stop right there, but I want to thank you all for watching this video. To all the social workers and other licensed mental health professionals, thank you for the work that you do every day for your clients, for your agencies, and for the profession. Please continue to support each other and yourselves. Bye for now.